hi guys I know it's been a very long time like six or seven months and I I apologize my life has been so hectic so hectic so I thought that I would just bring a vlog to you all to let you all know what's really going on um gosh let's see so um we've been kind of renovating our kitchen since January 1st uh, then COVID struck so we were sick for like um, the two weeks that we set aside to renovate our kitchen we painted the cabinets um, it was a very long process something that I well, although my husband kind of tried to help it was hard for him to help since we only had one sprayer so I pretty much did everything on my own um, and then it got really tiring trying to do that and work at the same time. I still have a full-time job and take care of my toddler. Then it was my husband's birthday. Uh, we ran into a lot of hiccups as far as spraying. Um, we don't have a commercial grade sprayer, but this uh, the sprayer we use is the second sprayer that we purchased. Uh, we, had, we went through quite a few filters, so we had to wait for um, parts replacements as well. Um, then we had issues putting the hardware on. Um, some of the hardware still isn't on all the cabinets and because, again, the people who we bought the house for rehabbed it, they use very cheap material. Um, nothing is centered, everything. The, the cabinet hinges are crooked and I can't find cabinet hinge replacements for a couple of the cabinets, um, excuse me, which is why which is why I have not posted any updates of my kitchen. I still don't have my bar stools. But as soon as I can get the hinges on the cabinet doors, I promise you I'll give you, a, I guess, a phase one update. Um, we still have to do the backsplash as well as the um, uh, 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 countertops. We got an estimate for the countertops, which is, I think, unreasonable. So we're still looking for countertops. Um, I ordered my bar stools in February and it is June 1st and I still have not received it. So that's been going on. I've also been working on my office. Um, we had um, our daughter's christening slash um, birthday party last weekend. Then it's been, it was, you know, Mother's Day. It was my oldest daughter's birthday. Then it was my birthday today is my oldest daughter's prom so we're running around and i really wanted to kind of film my youngest daughter's christening and birthday party but it was just so much going on and it was so hectic and just so hot outside that i just did not want to pick up the camera because i really wasn't sitting still and able to really fully enjoy it but it was um i'll see if i can insert some pictures we had a moon bounce cotton candy snowballs uh, things like that she really enjoyed herself she was tired for like two days you guys so I actually got a little bit of rest so now I'm just running around like um, I don't know a chicken with their head cut off because in true teenage form my daughter waits till the last minute to get everything done so I'm picking up she wanted to have this big send-off uh, which I really wasn't prepared to do because we just had a very big um, like I said uh, get to uh, gathering for my daughter's christening slash birthday party um because her birthday was this past saturday it was a sunday i can't remember anyhow so i just didn't want to but she wanted to have it so everybody just kind of pitched in i we have no accessories for her dress we just picked up the dress yesterday it's just been a whole debacle so um I just finished going to Costco's and picking up some food for the people who will be showing up. Uh, we don't have a boutonniere, so I'm going to see if I can find a boutonniere. She does not, like I said, have any accessories, so I'm going to try to go find some accessories at Macy's for her, um, I guess, her little outfit. And she got her hair done this morning, so it was like a two-part process. She's doing a... Um, full lace front wig that she had installed yesterday so our normal beautician i'm sorry if i'm getting close um i haven't slept in two days either so uh normal beautician um styled it this morning so we're gonna run to macy's i'll see if i can take you guys along for that other than that i'm on my way home with some breakfast slash lunch because nobody except for the baby has eaten today so 
that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm on my way home. So I guess I will talk to you all in the next clip. Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to the vlog. Um, it is a few days after prom. Um, it is Saturday, June 3rd, and again, as usual, every time I start filming, you wanna say hi? Say hi. As soon as I start filming, of course, the baby gets fussy. So I thought that I would show you guys what I'm up to. Let me just turn on the light a little bit. Um, we, again, as you can see, started renovating the kitchen. I think I showed you guys. I think I talked about it, but I don't think I showed it. So you, I'll give an update on that in the, in the future because we're having some issues. I think I told you some of the hinges, um, point over there, didn't exactly... Um, fit back on so we're trying to find hinges please leave that alone hinges to go on the, um some of the cabinetry we got our appliances however they were delivered um damaged so i've been trying to sell our old appliances and that's what's been going on so i thought i would try to include you guys on the kind of day in the life of what's going on i'm sorry i'm tired uh phoenix had swim class this morning so we're just getting home from there and I came home to some packages. So for my birthday, my husband, being a wonderful husband that he is, he ordered me a Bartesian. Cause um, who doesn't like a good cocktail? You know, it's wine o'clock somewhere. So I'm I'm normally a wine drinker, but we're starting to entertain more and more um, often. And I'm trying to open this while holding this cause my tripod doesn't work. So I'm gonna see, um, let me see if I can find a tripod and kind of set this up. Okay, so as I was just saying, um, let's just turn this a little bit. This is not working with me. This is like a makeshift kind of tripod. Anyhow, so as I was saying, hopefully you can hear me. I need to get a microphone. I need a better setup than what I do. I've just been laughing when it comes to YouTube and I apologize. So we just got home from, um, if the camera shakes, it's because she's playing around it. <clears throat> so we just got home from, um, a swim practice and I was saying that um, I had two packages on my porch um, a lot's been going on so my husband for my birthday even though my birthday was like almost three weeks ago he guess he's about to come through the door I'm pulling up that's our um, camera to let us know so um, he ordered me a Bartesian um, which is a, a almost like a cure for um, for adult beverages so me being the extra person that I am, I went ahead and ordered some glasses. We He ordered maybe a couple pods, but I went back and ordered a whole bunch more. So of course I got some, um, I thought these were super duper cute. They're not that big, that's fine. So I'm sorry, they are dirty because they're just in the box. So I went on Amazon and found me some cocktail glasses. Normally I like to purchase my stuff at um, like, uh, uh, crate and barrel or um, pottery mm -hmm. barn they closed my local uh, crate and barrel so the next one is about 45 minutes away which broke my heart but most of my glasses if not all of my glassware like I don't know if you can see let me move this over there and some on the other side all of it's from crate and barrel because thank you because I love the style of it so um, this time I couldn't find what I like there so I purchased these Again, they're dirty. These are um, modern type of margarita glasses um, with the wide bottoms. And I believe they are eight ounces. So I ordered these. Um, if you guys, I'll go ahead and um, link it below if you're interested, you know, for, we didn't have anything, any margaritas for Cinco de Mayo, but we will be prepared next year. Hopefully I have a little Cinco de Mayo um, type of um, shindig. So I, I don't, can you please stop banging on my table? So these, they really, they were like maybe $25, I think, for, I got six of them. So those are pretty good. Um, I'm probably gonna do a whole video on the Bartesian when I get it, it should be here in a couple of days. But we went ahead and um, stocked up on the alcohol. I think it requires rum. We got rum, gin, vodka, and rum, gin, vodka, and scotch whiskey. Even though it calls for whiskey, my husband prefers scotch whiskey. So, when you're opening boxes, my husband told me this. I didn't just do it, but I'm gonna do it now. You cut away from yourself and towards a friend. So. 
we're going to cut away from ourselves and towards a friend. So these should be the, oh, these are packaged. Um, these came in a set. They were only a set of two, like $13. And I think I ordered three sets. So these are the martini glasses. Um, I didn't want your standard martini glasses. Again, I'm all about like the, I don't know, the stemless wear. I love stemless wear because I think that it's easier to um, take care of. Um, people are less prone to breaking them. Um, so I got the stemless uh, martini glasses. And I thought I got the ones that had the bubble in the bottom like my uh, wine glasses and my um, champagne glasses, but I didn't. So these are my wine glasses from Crate and Barrel. I didn't see them on the site. I didn't look for them either, but uh, if you're interested, I'll go ahead and I'll link those. Um, they're not the most expensive, but they're not the cheapest line. So these are, um, I use these for red and white because I think you can use, um, now these probably, ooh, excuse me. I think you can use these for, these are a little dusty too. I probably need to clean it goes to show you. I have everyday um, glassware that I use, but these are, um, I think about maybe once or twice a year, I run these in a dishwasher, but believe it or not, a brand new dishwasher just broke. Yeah, we haven't even had it, what? You had it maybe a month? Maybe a month, babe? Maybe a month? Almost two months and it's broken. So we have been hand washing dishes for a few days. And uh, this is the, um, actually supposed to be the champagne flute, the same type of bubble right here, indentation. Um, you can use it for like white wine, but me, I choose to choose it, uh, use it for like uh, Prosecco, because I love Prosecco versus champagne. And I love, um, I think Melanie Graves just did a um, whole video um, on the difference between champagne and Prosecco. Um, but I prefer Prosecco. So uh, if you want to um, check out her channel, I'm pretty sure most of you know who who she is, being though I'm a smaller channel. I think she changed her name to uh, Lifestyle with Melanie Graves. Um, but yeah, so I usually use this for like my champagne, Prosecco, and maybe mimosas. But these are the, um, oh gosh, they're like badly scratched. Oh, really? Oh, no, okay, that's just dust. So of course I'm going to run these through the dishwasher when it gets fixed. I'm probably going to leave them in the boxes unless the Bartesian comes sooner than I'll just soak them in some bleach um, dish water. But they, these are them and I'll link these. I also got these from Amazon. So um, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, if you are interested, I'll show you all the alcohol that we got for the Bartesian. I don't know if I'm going to include this clip with the Bartesian. Um, reveal but i'm trying to put up more content on my youtube station so we'll see how that goes all right so with that said i think i want to go ahead and um uh, probably in if it's if it's enough footage then i'll probably end this vlog and i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can get the baby to take a nap because she's very cranky and very tired and i might take a nap if not if she goes to sleep i might sit out on the porch and try out one of my husband's cocktails that he got he doesn't want to be he's handing me his cup he doesn't want to be seen but i look like a werewolf you know, i love you anyway and here comes the son he probably doesn't want to be on camera anyway because he works nice anyway so the cocktail my husband is currently sipping on since he had me have to make, take a sip of it is um let's see you get to see firsthand. This is the new Samsung refrigerator, you guys. Again, as you can see, I told you it was delivered damage. You can see that there is a dent in it. Um, the panels are back ordered. We don't know when they're gonna come in. So that's just a quick glimpse. And quickly, you see my wall oven is not the same color as the rest of the appliances. The rest of the appliances are called a steel, steel blue? Steel blue, blue steel or something like that. Anyhow, um, say hi to the vlog. Okay, we'll have to edit him out. Anyhow, so what he's drinking is we got he took he he bought this this simply uh peach and combined it with the uh Ciroc, uh peach vodka and that's what he had. So it's it's cocktail time. It, it's after twelve, it don't matter. Anyhow, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and move my finger because this hurts my hand. I need a real a real um 
actually vlogging. Well, quickly. I mean, since you guys really want to know what's going on. So, um, on our way home, we went by and we stopped at the billiards place uh, that is close to my daughter's swim school. And we're looking into, it's another project. So many projects coming. I think we're getting ready. We've been supposed to be getting our deck done. But just there's so much happened. We're still dealing with issues with our HAVAC system. So much. So, what we're doing is um, we're going through some of these. As well as, um, I think, this one too. And we're going to decide which... Um, which pool table we want because we're going to finish the um finish the basement oh my god that drink is strong so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and just uh probably end it here if i do anything different then i'll i'll film it but i don't see doing too much of anything the rest of the day so till the next time mm -hmm.